Hi guys, it's Ryan Christman, POS Channel Sales Manager with Electronic Payments. Today's video is about Exatouch Point of Sale for restaurants. And not just one kind of restaurant, all types of restaurants. Fine dining, quick service, fast casual. Exatouch is a great fit for all those different verticals. What I'm going to cover today is what's included with the bundle uh, as far as hardware and services as well. Our sales process the software, user interface, and some of the cool features that can help out business owners and their staff. Um, and also um, kind of just go through some tidbits that I think are really good features inside of the system that uh, are a little bit unique to Exatouch, that give it its own personality. So first, let's start off with what do you get in the bundle? Uh, we call it a bundle here because it's going to include hardware, software, um, and services as well. You know, this is really a, a complete solution for a restaurant. You know, with the hardware side of things, uh, of course, you're going to get your all-in-one touchscreen terminal, receipt printer, cash drawer, a barcode scanner if you're using this in a you know, fast casual or quick service type environment where some of the products are going to be barcoded. Um, you're also going to receive um, a, a pin pad, of course, it's EMV enabled. And also NFC, so you can take things like Apple Pay or Samsung Pay or you know an NFC card as well. Now, one of the other things that uh, you know we've recently done with our hardware side of things um, is we've uh, changed things up a little bit. You know, the newest terminal really is a sleek-looking terminal. Uh, it has uh, you know a solid-state hard drive, a lot of memory. It's really fast and uh, really sleek. On top of that, in certain verticals such as that quick service or fast casual we offer a 10 inch rear facing display. This way the customer can see the items as they're being added to the transaction. And if you can think about it, if I'm standing you know, behind this terminal and you're a customer, um, you know, speaking out your order, you know, we're having a conversation, um, you'll actually see as I add the items to the order and you'll see your Italian combo go here and specifically you told me no onions and if I didn't touch the no onions button you can say and make sure it's without onions and I could say ah okay I better remodify that so you make sure that your order accuracy is very very high on top of the hardware that comes with the bundle you also get services with this and I think the services side of it is the most important side of it you know, once you've uh, found Exatouch and you've you know gone through a sales demo and the system is a good fit for you and you really like it, the next step of things is uh, to step into these services. And the first one is going to be a menu build. So once your menu build, your menu goes to our menu build team, um, they're going to review it and they're going to call you and talk to you about your business and your menu. They're going to enter it into the system and then do a menu review where they'll literally show it to you and take feedback, make changes. Uh, this process includes setting up preferences, tax rates, permissions for employees. We want this system to be ready for you when you take it out of the box. And when you do take it out of the box, we're going to go through something called an over the phone install, essentially plug, helping you plug stuff in. You know, this wire goes there, this wire goes there, and then uh, we roll you over into training, right? And we want to teach you how to use the system. And I consistently tell people that I really think of training as a, you know, as a, as a double um, thing, as a two-sided thing, um, front of house and back of house. Because, you know, Ryan, the bartender, needs to be taught how to open a ticket, do a pre-auth, um, how to, you know, do a tab with someone's name, you know, the guy in the Mets hat. Um, or, and I also need to be taught, you know, how do I navigate through the menu? How do I remove an item or apply a discount if I'm allowed to, you know, with my permissions? And then secondarily, there's back of house training, which is how do I add new items? How do I hide items that are seasonal? You know, these are all things that, uh, you know, are going to be important to the business owner in the long term. How do I get my sales reports? How do I apply gratuities? Those are questions that come up all the time. Now, one last thing I'm going to mention to you guys is that really the best part of our Exatouch solution is the ongoing support. Now, we have a great process of giving you a demo, going through a menu build and training. And then when the dust settles and you're using this, you'll need a friend. It's not if you're going to need uh, to call into the help desk. It's when you'll have a question. You're going to need or want to learn a different area of the program. Our software um, is really supported by an amazing group of people that are based out of our New York and Florida offices. Uh, they're available to you 24-7, 365. 
and uh, they're going to really, really be uh, uh, the backbone, uh, you know, of your solution and your services going forward. So that's a really great thing that we offer with Exatouch. Now what I want to do is talk to you guys about the software itself. I want to shift modes and actually get you uh, into the system here. And I want to talk to you first about this new lock screen. I've recently redesigned the screen to have your business's logo on it and to have a few features that uh, we have really felt that commonly come up, you know, functions that are you know, helpful to the business owner. So I walk in and I sit down with my wife, Abby, in, in Ryan's restaurant, and I have a gift card that my mom and dad gave me. It could be a year ago. Um, and I hand it to the server and I say, hey, I don't know how much is on this. Could you tell me? You know, and as that server walks away, I say to my wife, well, if there's a lot of money on it, I'm getting a steak. <laughs> and if there's a little money on it, I might get a hamburger. So, you know, you can actually go through and check a gift card balance directly from the, the main screen of the program. The server walks up, touches a button, swipes the card. Really, really nice, quick function. How about the business owner coming in after, you know, being out to lunch for the, um, with a friend or a family member? They want to walk up and get a snapshot report. They can do that instantly from the lock screen. Also from the lock screen, you'll see the fresh sheet. The fresh sheet is really just a list of items that are maybe on special tonight and about how many of them you have left. And I very often have businesses come back to me and say, hey, I use that fresh sheet for stuff that I sell out of all the time. This way it just keeps the approximate number of how many servings you have of that item uh, really in front of the server's eyes, right? Because we want the server to be thinking about those items, be aware that we're either out of them or, you know, going, you know, getting very low, uh, very close to zero. Um, and these, uh, these uh, items that are on this list will change in color. When they get below five, they'll turn red. You'll see my Aloha burger is, in, is grayed out because there's zero. Really neat feature. So we do have time clock. And from this screen, every employee, whether they're kitchen staff or the bartender and servers, they can walk up, clock in and out directly from the lock screen. Um, the feature is a really simple one. By going to clock in, we can punch in our four-digit pin, and then we're in. We could take a break, come back from a break, then you get an hours and wages report on the back end. Let's get into the software. I'm going to punch in my four-digit pin, and I'm actually going to first start out right here at our landing page. I just want to talk to you guys about how Exatouch is it's a Windows-based solution and you get all the features and functions with this. It's not modularized, it's not you know, set up where you have to you know, uh, add uh, additional you know, apps and things like that. You really get everything from reports to register, you know, where you're going to be ringing up your transactions to behind the scenes customer management, your staff management and items and menu. We have messaging modules inside of the or me messaging functions inside of the system, <clears throat> purchasing and receiving. It's all here. You know, it's all inclusive. I'm going to start by talking to you guys about the register side of things. Now, when I touch register, I can either have it go directly into my menu if, it, if you know if it's a quick service type restaurant or a, you know convenience deli type business. Um, you know those are all you know businesses that would usually skip over a floor plan. Um, but for a fine dining or a casual restaurant, um, we do have a floor plan with a complete layout. You know that uh, you can use for you know kind of customizing your own uh, restaurant floor plan. You know into the system. Let's give a hypothetical order here. Let's say uh, Ryan and Steve come in and they're going to sit at table uh, lucky number 13. I'm going to touch the table. I can either mark it as occupied because it's cold and they're taking their jackets off and they're just getting settled in, or I can go directly in and do an order. And we'll come into the actual menu screen. Now, inside of here, I just want to give you a quick walkthrough of what this screen looks like. First, on the top left, you'll see all the order types. I've got dine-in, takeout, pickup, delivery, even delivery service, which ties in, you know, the grub hubs of the world, you know, where you can take the order off of the tablet and you know, kind of track it through your main point of sale solution. Down the middle of the page, I have my menu broken up into all kinds of different categories, my example menu here. And you'll see when I touch certain categories, there's subcategories. Along the bottom of the screen, I have three rows of custom buttons turned on. These can be used to do all kinds of things in the system, whether that is discounting or adding uh, or repeating or removing lines or selling a gift card, uh, you know, doing uh, transaction uh, or item splits. You know, those are, you know, get, splitting a check by guest. You know, those are all features that happen on a daily or maybe if not hourly basis in a restaurant. And we can park those right along the bottom of the screen for you. You'll even see that I have items. Like I have Ryan's Crazy Brew or I have wings and things like that. 
you know, a lot of the businesses I work with park maybe the tap beers they currently have across the bottom of the page just so they don't have to go under alcohol and then beer and then, you know, that type of thing. The system is really customizable, which I think is very important. So what, once we start an order here, right, Steve and I are doing a dine-in. We're going to wake up with some caffeine, and then we're going to go ahead in and grab a couple of beers, right? I go alcohol, I go beers, um, and grab a couple of Ryan's Crazy Brews and a Bud Light. Um, what we're also going to do is we're going to go in here, and we're going to go under our appetizers. And I'm going to go to Wings because I want to show you how cool our modifiers are. This is a great part of the program. So I'm going to go under Wings. I'm going to choose Eight Wings. And now here is the beginning of our modifiers. Um, I've touched here because I wanted to show you that we have two different types of modifiers, required and then there's additional, okay? So required is, hey, these are things you have to tell the kitchen. You can't go forward without telling the kitchen this. You know, I remember when I worked as a bartender, I'd write up a duplicate, uh, steak and wings, and I'd walk into the kitchen and put it on the wheel. And five minutes later, Benny the chef would be out saying to me, how do you want the steak cooked? What type of potato? It comes with a salad. What dressing did you want? Are the wings an appetizer or are they with the meal? And all these things that I hadn't given him the information on. So Exitouch can force that. So I like Chipotle barbecue. I like celery. I like ranch. But I also like my wings well done. And I don't have that in here. How am I going to move forward? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a note with my really cool on-screen keyboard. And I'm just going to go in and punch in that I uh, want my wings well done right on my touch screen. And that's that. And if I was adding something unusual like uh, adding avocado or a scrambled egg or whatever it may be to a product and you need to add a price, you can do that right here as well. Let's just go forward though. If there's additional mods you'd like to make, let me touch the mods button, then we can go down here and we can say that we're going to add ketchup, right? You know, as an example, you can hold things, you can have extra, um, all different uh, you know functions that can apply money, you know, additional funds to this, uh, you know, to this uh, item as well. I'm just going to hit save. I'm going to send this off to the kitchen. Oh, and very simple. We hit send order. Now what's going to happen is that order is going to print into the kitchen, at least the food items that are on that order. So you can see here, I have my wings, how I want them, and you know, what I've done, I asked a special note to have it well done, and I even added ketchup. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to show you an example of what's going to print to the bar printer, the bar service printer that's sitting out there at the bar. Yeah, so that's all set. Now my lucky number 13 table shows that Steve and I ordered. Let's go back into it and talk about a few other features, though, okay? By the way, you can touch the table and immediately go to print the check. You know, that's kind of a cool, quick feature as well. But I'm going to get back in here, because I, earlier I talked about split. Let's say... Steve's wife calls and says, hey, you know, you need to come home. Uh, one of our boys is going nuts and I need you here. Uh, we can go ahead and, you know, Steve says, all right, I'll pay for my stuff. I know you, you want to stay. That's fine. So we can get down to the bottom, touch split by item. We could say Steve had a coffee. Uh, Steve had a Bud Light. And uh, Steve said he's going to pay for the wings. So you can do this by item. But more commonly to me, uh, and what happens all the time personally in my life, is I'll go out with a couple, um, you know, a couple of other couples. My, you know, my wife Abby will say, "Hey, we're going to dinner Friday night at, uh, you know, Bob's restaurant," and we go with three couples. And the check comes, and instantly there's three credit cards. All three guys threw a credit card in the middle of the table, and we usually watch the server walking away, shaking their head, you know, getting out a calculator and trying to figure out how to do things. How, to, how am I going to break this up? Um, what we actually bring to the table here is the ability to split it by a, a number of ways. Uh, so I can touch on the pay tab and I can say, hey, I want to split this by three. And the software will actually do the math for me and I can swipe three cards and go back to that table with three check presenters and let everybody find their own card and <clears throat> move on with uh, with my day. I'm just going to pay this out. So I want to talk to you about a few other features um, and within the system here as well. You'll see also with uh, my table layout that you see the status um, right now, right? I have status lit up. You know, so you can see that uh, you know these tables are ready to be cleaned up, and you can either make them available, um, or you can immediately go you know and, and do an order you know right away without even uh, you know cleaning them up or, or changing the status of them. Some of the cool features that uh, you know, a lot of business owners find very very uh, useful is the ability to view timers. How long has a guest been sitting at a table? That type of thing. You know, what's their order number? What staff member is, is uh, currently taking care of that table? You know, these are all cool things that you can kind of pop on and off really quickly inside of this screen. Now, there's a lot of questions that I get when I show you know, business owners access touch for restaurant. 
Uh, and these things come into play all the time where it's, uh, you know, how do I, uh, you know, uh, add a new item or, or, or change something? And, you know, it's so difficult in, in the system that I have now. And one of the things I want you guys to see um, is really how easy it is, you know, to go in and change things. Um, you know, you'll see like I'm under apps and wings right now. And I have, you know, 12, 25, 6, and 8. You know, what if I'm going to do small plates and I want to do four wings? Check this out. I can go home. I can go under items. I can go under my item details, and this is where every item has its own really page, right? And I'm going to say new. And I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to add four wings into my system. And I think that's really easy. I'm going to choose what category I want this in. I'm going to choose what subcategory I wanted it in. I give it a price. I'm going to say $6 as an example. I could give it a cost if I choose to set up tax. Choose the color of the button really quickly there on the screen. You know, make it make it crazy red as an example, and just hit save. And now on my menu, I go back into the register. I just kind of click back and forth. Now I have four wings. So the system is really very easy, you know, to modify as far as changing things in your menu. That's the thing that uh, I think is very important to know. Guys, there's a lot of other functions um, inside of this system that I think are important for you. There's obviously the menu management that I just touched on a little bit for you. We do have customer functions where you can take names and addresses and uh, do marketing you know, through email, mass emails out to your, your customer base. We have another cool feature built in here. You'll see the little e-gift logo on the bottom of the screen where you can sell and redeem gift cards through our e-gift uh, platform, uh, which is free. There's no monthly or swipe fees, redemption fees, activation fees, none of that. It's all free for, for you as a business owner. You know, so that's another really, really terrific feature inside of the system. Now, I'm going to touch on reporting. I'm going to give you kind of a, a really interesting um, couple of facts about ExaTouch's reporting. And then we'll kind of finish things up for you. Um, but once you get into the reporting side of the, the software, uh, a cool thing is that you can do preview and you can look at, you know, um, a report right on the, the screen. I'm just going to show you the business overview report, which is essentially a, uh, you know, a two page report that kind of just says, hey, this is what happened during this period of time you're going to run us for. Uh, average tickets, sales totals um, by category. We have busiest times of the day. We have, you know, all your sales taxes and, you know, your cash summary, all that. Um, so it's cool. You can check it out on the screen. You can export it to a bunch of different formats. But check this out too. You can actually have this sent to yourself or a group or an accountant via email. And you can do it on a cadence too. Hey, I want this every Monday morning at 9 a.m. in my inbox. That's doable and it's automated. And it's not just this business overview report. Many reports inside of the software uh, are going to let you do that, have them delivered to your inbox and not just on the screen or through an export. So I think that's a really important tool. Recently, I had a business owner ask me, hey, could your system tell me automatically, um, you know, what... Uh, um, you know, what features, uh, I'm sorry, what items inside of, um, you know, my, my store are low um, and can it email it to me? And I said, guess what? We have low level items. You can choose what format you'd like it to be in and set it up to automatically email. And that business owner said, you know what? That helps me so much because I do a lot of my ordering on Monday morning from home and I, it would be very helpful for me to see what I'm low on. And, you know, you can have that broken down by, you know, a number of different criteria that that was very helpful for, for one specific business owner. You also, guys, you have reporting up in the cloud. You have your, your POSCloud.com where your software package is always backing up you know, to POS Cloud. And you, you have a sales dashboard where you can see your total transactions, number of transactions, tips, and some pie charts that are just going to show you the best-selling items and you know, things like that that are really, uh, really just some key metrics. And that's also included with, uh, you know, with the ExaTouch platform. So guys, there's so many features built into ExaTouch. And now that's for your fine dining restaurant, for your quick service, whether you're doing sandwiches and things like that. And you want to, you know, really quickly ring up a couple of sandwiches and do that conversational ordering with that rear facing display. Um, if you'd like to, you know, take, a, you know, a, an order and, and go ahead and put a name on it, right? Right again, through our on-screen keyboard, right? You can put a label on it and send that off to the kitchen and, you know, uh, or, or pay it out and, and have that receipt, uh, 
um, you know, have a name on it that you want to call out. These are all great features. You see Ryan right here in the tag. You know, just like they, they do at a lot of, lot of restaurants uh, these days. Uh, they're really, really great features built into the ExaTouch platform. So we bring to the table a really affordable, easy to use, flexible solution that I think is going to be great for your restaurant. I'm going to ask you guys to stay tuned to our channel um, because we're going to be doing more videos about different verticals and about how ExaTouch can help your business, You know, whether that's from the restaurant standpoint, retail. We're going to start doing a lot of videos and breaking down ExaTouch you know, into um, you know, all the different areas that I think really there's a lot of strengths in. You know, we have things now like caller ID and that delivery manager. And I think some of those features deserve their own videos um, because the feature really does bring um, you know, a lot of automation you know, to your business. So again, guys, it's Ryan Crispin, POS Channel Sales Manager with Electronic Payments. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.